Hello there! Did you know that it is possible to customize what you see in the graphical user interface when you are connecting to your router? Yeah, it's possible with a feature called skins. So what would you use it for? Well, let's say you want to give access to the router to certain people, but these people might not need to access all of your configuration, only some parts of it. Uh, first, uh, let's make this clear. This is not a security feature. Uh, this is only a convenience feature. Also, you can use it to translate some sections or even give them more user-friendly names. So let's connect to a router and uh, to create these skins, we need to use WebFig. Uh, but these skins uh, will later reflect your changes also in Winbox. But to create, like I said, we need to go to WebFig. So this is WebFig. In WebFig, if you go to the left-hand side menu and scroll down, you'll see Design Skin. Click on this button. And now you see all kinds of checkboxes. So what we can do is disable and enable uh, menus here. With unchecking these boxes, uh, these menus will no longer be visible. Uh, what you can also do is rename them. For example, we might uh, rename wireless to Wi-Fi or um, anything you like. You can also use translation and uh, rename uh, for example, wireless to bezla.eagles. In Latvian, that means Wi-Fi network. Uh, if you want, you can do all these changes, and then you can even go into these menus and click on some subsections or disable some tabs altogether. Uh, what you can also do is if you go into some interface, for example, here, let's click on the Wi-Fi. If we scroll down and we see something interesting, for example, registered peers, uh, maybe maybe this is information that you you want to see uh, more often. You don't go, want to go into uh, this menu uh, with uh, several clicks. Uh, you can actually go and here you can see this small triangle here, and you can see add node, add to status page. If you click on add the status page, if you go back up, you'll see a new tab pop up. This is uh, the uh, something like a simple dashboard. You can add all kinds of stuff into the status page. Maybe you want to see your speed or maybe the byte graph. So click on this one, add to status page and go up and click on the status page. You can see now uh, uh, the things that we added. Um, the status page will actually only work in WebVIC, but for Winbox, all the other changes will work. So what, once you are done with all your customizations and your translations, um, let's call this dashboard. Well, let's uncheck all these other menus here. For example, like that, whatever you like. Then you go and rename this uh, skin to something, let's say my Latvian skin and save. Once you have saved the skin, click on the design skin button again and you will exit the customization here. You will see already your translated um, menus here. But what, what uh, you must do now is go into system users and here in the groups you can create a new group with any kind of uh, uh, permissions uh, that you want. Let's, uh, let's call it uh, our uh, Latvian users and give them all the permissions, whatever. I don't care that they have all the permissions. I just want to give them the the, uh, the translated menus, but they are allowed to do anything. And we will set uh, that these users who belong to the Latvian user group, they will have the skin Latvian. And we can add some kind of comment. You can actually uh, translate it to any other language like Chinese and, and all these uh, menus support UTF and uh, can be translated uh, with all your special uh, symbols and, and um, any kind of alphabet. So uh, click on OK. We have now a group for Latvian users and I can add a new user called uh, Latvian for the, in the group Latvian users and I can set password for this new user and click OK. Now you can see that my new Latvian username is with this group. And this group, as you saw, uh, has a 
the skin Latvia. I can exit now. Uh, let's uh, let's try to log in with the Winbox now to see if these changes also show up there. So let's connect to our router. And as you can see, the uh, menus are gone. The custom names are here, based on the vehicles and interface, but no status page. That's only for WebFig. As you can see, this is a convenient and easy way to hide certain things from uh, your uh, users. Uh, of course, uh, I'm not talking about regular users. This is for admin users, for people who uh, must access your router uh, from time to time. Maybe you have like uh, a junior uh, colleague who only needs to uh, set up certain things in your, uh, in your routers and you can actually uh, pre-configure routers with this uh, user group and these skin files using the branding package. We had a separate video link there uh, about branding packages. So let's say you want to um, provision all your MicroTicket devices with um, uh, some uh, users already, not just admin user. Maybe you want your main admin and, and these uh, junior uh, admins. So you can create a custom configuration file that sets up these groups, that uh, specifies the skin for these groups, include this uh, new skin file uh, in, in the branding package, and then all your routers will have this. And uh, when your junior admin connects, he'll only see those menus that he needs to see. And um, so it's very easy. Uh, one more thing, how to get this branding, uh, uh, this file for the branding or transfer the skin to another device. Well, you have to go into the files menu and you will see in the skins folder, now we have skins Latin JSON. So uh, you can now download this file and upload into your uh, branding package or just upload to another router directly and don't use any branding packages. Uh, let's open up this file and see what's inside. So here you go. This is the latvian.json. Uh, as you can see, wireless menu, a different name, Interface has a different name. Uh, some things have been hidden. This uh, zero means that they are hidden. And uh, here is the definition for the status page. And inside, you can see uh, some items, uh, alias, and things to be shown. You can actually customize these directly by using uh, by editing the JSON file. Uh, all right. So I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you in our next video.